I was excited about this one because I knew from our meetings with the other peak of creators that the artist was going to use traditional media and I have a bias towards that because that's what I use in my picture books now in this one the artist and the author are two different people so Alan Dahl is written by J. Philip Ignacio and illustrated by Alex Nino as you can see it's in landscape format and it's it's quite unwieldy <laughs> And each page is actually a splash page. <laughs> it's very busy. Except for the some parts, some pages where they sh just show a letter like this. And you get some respite. Uh, but otherwise, there's lots of things happening around visually. So what I tried to do here is... It's got an interesting story. Uh, but I feel that... The images can be appreciated separately. So what I did was I focused on the story first. Uh, so I read it first and afterwards I looked at the artwork <laughs> after I've read the whole story. That way I can take them in separately and appreciate, get to appreciate it a lot better. There's actually a story in the illustrations that's separate from from the written text that's on the pages uh, because each page is like a montage it's like sometimes it feels like a, a visual exercise like a Where's Waldo exercise <laughs> to try to look for the for the character that's being de described or being mentioned on the page there's actually a part here page 83 and 84 where it repeated <laughs> maybe doubt myself I didn't I just read that? But yeah, I don't know if it's just my copy. But they printed page 83 and 84 twice. Which <laughs> is quite amusing because it stopped my my um, train of thought. <laughs> and it got me to focus again on the story. It's a two-part story. So this is the first part. So it ends in a cliffhanger. And I gotta say, I, I didn't jump to the afterward first you know how some people <laughs> they go there first and read it I didn't I waited until I reached that part and read it then but uh, I already heard Jay mention this what he wrote in the afterwards so I was aware and I understand why the comic book ended up this way the artwork is exquisite it's like each page is a cover page. So there's no change in temperature. It's just all full action. Except for those parts where they show you the letters, the handwritten letters. But there are also chapter titles like this. Where the art is also <laughs> very intricate. So it's another cover art. Anyway. That's another amazing peacock book. I look forward to the next batch.